Yeah, what's up, motherfuckers? We back. I paused a while ago. I'm not. I don't have to tell you guys shit. But I joke. I paused, as you guys can tell. If you're watching, you know why we paused. Jamal was talking about architecture, yeah. and the funny thing about architecture, we paused. And if you are watching, you'll see the difference. If you're listening, you know nothing. John Snows. Yeah, no. no, we're talking about like um, the process. Yeah. Yeah, you start off well, to be an actual architect. To become an architect in Jamaica, because the process in different countries varies. Um, in Jamaica, in particular, so you have to go. St- well, we are the only Caribbean school of architecture. Is the only, only one in the Caribbean. There we go. Mm-hmm. Um, and yet. Accredited and blah, blah, blah. So basically, you come, you do your four years bachelor's. There was a period of time where you did two, like the first two years, you could get an associate's degree. Um, but I don't know if them still do that. Um, but anyways, the four years is the your bachelor's. Um, and after that, what are you supposed to do? You see, it keep, it's, it's, it's in a constant flux. So I don't know. Um, so it's, it's, it's essentially an evolving system. Exactly. Because I guess because it's so new, technically. Like, I mean, it might seem old to us, but in the grand scheme of things, if you look it's at it. It's not that school, new. Yeah, it's, 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 I think it's like maybe, I don't even know if it's six years old yet. Um, I'm quite sure it's not. I, think, I don't even know if it's 40. I think it's actually maybe 30 years. But anyway, so basically, it used to be that you had to do, after your bachelor's, you had to do two years work experience. But mm. now, just like in the last... Wait, after your bachelor's, you have to do two years work experience yeah. to qualify for the master's? For the master's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Because it, it really... When you, when you do it, it, you'll see why. First of all, you'll come out of school and you feel like, yeah, man, I man, no, man, have this, I have this luck. And you come out with a bag of ego and you show up your first day of work. And you yeah, just humble. say, oh, but I studied this. I, how mm. does this? Um, <laughs> mm, I, um, how does the book translate to real life? The, where did Ooh, the? Uh, this is this is <laughs> when this is due. <laughs> 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 when is this due? <laughs> when is this due? <laughs> <laughs> and then basically, let me tell you, all everybody thirty-five and above going to look at you like, who oh, did my teacher at that school there, my youth? Like, first of all, you went to the school. That's the first thing. Right? So, second of all, you know what exactly them are and are not teaching us, right? Them are and them are, are not. And are not I appreciate teaching us. I appreciate Yo, he went to Bon Tequila School of English. School. He went to architecture school. school he didn't he didn't go to the school of English. School That's of true. Killer. First of all, big up Bon Tequila. <laughs> Five star general. Big up appliance. Yo, Bonte is my general and if you know that in a one general in the yard. But anyways, what were I saying? So yeah, you so you were supposed to do two years of work experience to then um be qualified to apply for your masters. But they've cut that out so now people can just go straight into it. There's like a there's a there's a positive and negative to it. You'll see the difference in the students that have like only been students. Um, but yeah, some N- apart from the nigga them who shell shock from the realization that life sucks, yo, and you just pick up a bag of do 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 do. Honestly, it's like a, I think there's like a there's like a sweet spot. It's like within seven years of of leaving your your undergrad, then like work within seven years of going to college. Yeah, no, because you work. You like after that, like seven years after your undergrad. I can ask you a serious question. Yeah, what the architect really do? Um, it actually a lot. No, like big, like no, it, it genuine really, question. Like it really I, as far as in my mind's mm-hmm. eye, mm-hmm. architect draw some line, tell you this is what yeah. the building will look like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then surveyors and contractors yeah. come in and do the actual things. Um, that's one that can be one aspect that can that be. Sounds, a that sounds wicked reduct- wickedly reductive. Uh, that, that that's what I in I've never yeah, been an architect fine. in that's my his, life. That's, that's Fair. his experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it it really and it's funny because all of these professions actually stem from architecture is really like i guess some people say it's lazy why you have like for instance project managers separate from architects because it's like sometimes you have it's the same thing not no not that it's the same thing but all right so in a lot of situations it's supposed to be that the architect is the team lead in the entire group so him, him dry it up and get all the people together and say yo we need a contractor so he's the project manager then in that it's regard supposed to be mm-hmm. like life's, that's kind of how it always was but what has happened is that enough people just dip on you man i did that still so um, <laughs> like, so a, like, a, project like a, well. a quantity a quantity surveyor still mm-hmm. like all of them all of them things like the big architect christine <laughs> big up steen yeah <laughs> the architect like the engineer all of that like them man, we're supposed to high five come on high five I got an email a while ago from work. Yeah. Um, we're being asked to telecommute tomorrow, so Martin's working from home. I just wanted to be a part of that, but that that's I what's up. I feel like that was very strange. That's what's up. No, it's okay, bro. Three-way. Yeah. It's okay, bro. We love you. This so looks like a really tight <laughs> thong. 
<laughs> this is not the brother that was saying the I mean, now that, no that, that you say it, I can't <laughs> see. Like, For the rest of your life. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me just turn this guy. <laughs> no, it's just... It's quite high up. <laughs> yep, so that so I'm going to get the big Voltron because I can't unsee that now. No, anyway, yeah. so yeah, basically... What does an architect do? An architect... An architect does honestly, amazing things. I promise mm-hmm. you, I promise you, if you, you can look it up, there's no one definition of an architect. Right. So, to me, an architect... Mm-hmm. An architect is like a manipulator of space, any kind of space, because you can do. Yo, I love when them give us like shit like that, like like ex- ex- explanation space. like that, because well, that make, it come sounds and so sick. Space. It, it, it no, sounds le- so legit, sick, yo, dog. The architect can be an interior designer, so in a micro way. So basically, in a micro perspective. I just I was speaking to Pips the other day, yeah. and Pips was telling me that because uh, she did interior design. Could you let school, Jamal right? finish his thought? No, Bob? he he has good memory. He can hold it. I can't. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so <laughs> I was speaking to Pips about you know interior design. Cause yeah. I thought once mm-hmm. again, mind's eye, mm-hmm. that you just pick the shit that go in the room and you know, yeah, feng shui and make it look good. It. And she was like, no, it's actually like architecture for in for small spaces. The interior designers. Where, uh, again, that's you have one to think thing of like door placement, window placement for lighting. Not even just door pl- door opening. Like yeah. if you have the door swinging in the wrong direction, it throw off the whole damn thing. Yeah, right? like and that's the some interior designers. Thing. I was like, no, nah, I thought y'all niggas just nah, curtains yeah. and throw pillows. But and I think shit. that's the same. I don't think it's just. I don't think that's just what it is for architects because I feel like everybody's profession have these super nuances. Like like when I talk about the speakers and the, like the microphone and all them. Shit. No, not 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 you all, Martin. But I really <laughs> to study this situation. Not you all, uh, Martin. But, but like everybody's <laughs> profession has like some nuances here. that nobody else will pick up except for the guy who is in that job or the girl who is in that job, right? And it's it's kind of <laughs> Jamal said or the girl. Or the girl. Had to like roll his eyes. Man said bumble. Yeah, yeah, like, I was like, fuck, I have to be inclusive. 2019, <laughs> brother, is really difficult. I was like, fuck, I have to be inclusive. Like, shit. Uh, uh, or or they or the or she or, or them. it. Or them. Or it. it. The kids. Zer. Zer. Zim. Bum buckler. I describe it Zim. as it. us. It. No, no. <laughs> I, de- I describe it. because No, it. The situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I describe the situation. That's what you call them? Situations? Wow. The situation of That's trying to figure out what pronoun to use. Yeah. I simply describe that dog. as the technical rainbow. Everybody named dog. Yeah, no. Ex- bro. My bro. Fad, I remember dog years ago. My father and Bridget and used to call everybody Roy. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, like I'm not gonna call everybody Roy. Roy. Wagwan Roy. But I have a few I'm friends. I have I have a few friends, right? Who like don't identify as like him or her. It's somewhere in the middle. So what I do, I know a Republican I, friend is taken aback. I know. So <laughs> what I do, I know, I know, I know, I, I, I know Jamal. So what I do to just you know make life easy Whoa. for everybody is just if say Bob is that person, I just go yo dog. And that's it. That's it, you know. Yo, that's, that's, how, that's how it goes. Like, you become yo. I am yo, dog. Your I name am, is no yo. I am it's like, yo, it's like, yo, dog. Fuck. So I never greet you with a name, you know. If I don't know your name, it's like, yo, yeah, I get you know. Mm. Just Bur- know that. But even if I do know your name, because you know you're going good. I know multiple people like, whose and first it names are yo, And it dog. doesn't offend, em- it doesn't yeah. offend anybody. Well, on, it's simply a greeting. Yo, killer, general, big man, boss. Is it like all of them? Far country where like, yo, we burn out like everything. We're really respectful. That's what, because, because. What what it is? Other man with daddy. No. no, I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. that. I don't. I, I, I don't do that. Don't every time, that. every time I hear it, I always go, "How you call a man your daddy and on the bone everything?" Mm-hmm. I legit cannot call anybody my father mm-hmm. except for Patrick Chambers. I not call. I, I, I don't even call yeah. Hamlin my father. My, my dad. Uh, exactly. I can't say the word. My have one father. My don't. My, my don't one understand one that. My, my, my have a father. My understand this. Yo, daddy. My no, understand them things. I can't understand the, the showing respect. So like, yo, my lord, what go on, king? What go on? Big up yourself, boss, king, general. Like all of them. I can't understand that. Agreed. I don't understand with, the daddy thing. Know? No, the daddy thing. Mm, yeah, but that still. What about you, Bob? Do you have a? Yeah, you have, do you have a bunch of daddies? No, my parents. Do you I have don't Bob? call anybody daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you say you don't even call your father daddy. I pops. don't actually I don't I don't do that either. I pops. don't do that either. His pops or Hamlin or dad. ugly man. I call him dad. Pops no, pops. Dad. Pops, yeah. father, dad's mm. ugly man. That's it. <laughs> I don't I, I, I it feels weird to call like a person daddy. 
it feels very submissive. Is what it I mean, ex- <laughs> yeah. exactly. And it feels my like very toxic so masculinity very, very, on show. It's actually not toxic masculinity. I, hold on, Jamal. It's Jamal. not masculinity. Did you really. not hear the sarcasm in that a while ago? I know you're joking. Okay, but like, cool. You know, people need to know that it's, there's no such thing as toxic masculinity. Mm, hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take. No, hot take. I promise you. Let's no, hear I, this. Jamal, it Jamal, 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 Jamal. I don't Jamal, care. Jamal. I've been fighting for this cause <laughs> Hot take. every There's time. No, and no, it's Bob always the guest and Bob going, no to, dog, but I I'm like, no, it's point. not. Being a, being a male no, and being a no, dominant no, person don't mean, uh, don't mean uh, it's toxic. No, but it's that's like that's nobody. No, but there are indeed behaviors no, it's about closely a, associated yeah. with masculinity that have toxic. No, it's, 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 not, no. Even, it's not closely trash associated. Trash Well, yes, but those trash niggas, their version of masculinity. But that's their version of masculinity. That's their version of masculinity. That's Trash it's trash killing it. Trash killing it. Let me tell you what it is. It's a false identity that we just accept as masculinity because we, Cause it's a lot of us. us, don't know what true masculinity is. So when you see people just uh, like uh, uh, over dominate, overpower, and uh, beat up people and uh, treat people like shit, you say, yeah, man, he's a real man. Yeah. Like, no, that's no Gabby. You just look at Gabby. Look at it this way. A masculine, a ladies man in like Latin America yeah. is very flamboyant but for our culture. Yeah, but right, to them, yeah. that is the peak of masculinity. That's so, you agree, so you agree that there, the so you agree that there is no mass, there's no one definition of masculinity. I disagree so if, if there is no one there, definition no, of masculinity yeah. because it is defined no, by mas- culture, no, masculinity you can't have toxic. Dif- masculinity you disagree, have a definition. You disagree, you disagree, yeah, it disagree just, it, the definition just changes. How so? By culture. Because it's it's about balance. Nobody, no one person is but, any one thing. But isn't that balance dictated by culture? Um, no, it, I, but if you're not, balanced, not all, are you not, balanced not all all cultures so, so require. Let me, so let me, let me say. I'm sorry. So, all right, so what I mean by the balance is that you have, there's a certain amount of emotion that you display or there's a certain amount of um, love and care that you show and give. Right, mm-hmm. so showing showing care, showing love, you know, being empathetic, that doesn't make you any any less masculine. It just the false masculinity sees it as feminine, but it's not feminine. Even though, by the way, everybody has, we know that we have a balance of but that masculine point, and feminine. That point doesn't they know what I was saying earlier? No, 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 because no, you were saying. All right, say, r- repeat your point then. My point was like. What is thought of mm-hmm. as masculine mm-hmm. is denoted by culture. Some cultures view certain like just mm-hmm. some some cultures because Are I hold it, because I hold because what I hold we it. have now mm-hmm. is false. Is that is yeah no I agree it's the, the, the male Jamaican bravado of what like mm-hmm. a real man is go get your children. That's not, I'm mm-hmm. not <laughs> saying that I'm not you know go get them like them is like mango off a tree yeah. get children. no but yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. Jamaica where they say you get a child man yeah. get picnic yeah, yeah, so, yeah, what, yeah. I was, just bring so what, yeah, what, what yeah, I was yeah. saying is very <laughs> much um, it's what is considered masculine yeah. is denoted by culture well, I, and as a result of that mm-hmm. I don't think there is an archetype uh, of uh, what is feminine enough. or what is masculine because everything has to change to fit your culture. You, you also have to remember that you see a lot of these guys that just because you're older doesn't mean you're more mature. No, not so, at all. So Wisdom don't come with age. I learned that a long time. Older guys that we may look up to as like like seniority. They're Still just, full of shit. They're just in their position because they are debuted for a longer time than we. Agreed. So it's not like you might look to them as elders but they're not elders. They're just older. Is You know? So mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like you might say, yo, this guy, he's been on him have gray hair. He's been on the earth, he's been here long, you know. He's, but he, he doesn't really have much wisdom. Because these people are broken, too, from their children. Mm-hmm. And then my girl up and he's like... My thing is, all right, you see what in regards to the... Toxic How do we get on this conversation? I don't know. I was defining architecture as the... Dis- the uh, but the toxic <laughs> masculinity space thing defining has to be looked at We'll get, we'll get back to Jamal defining. <laughs> yeah, but sorry. It has, it, has to, it has to be looked at in context. Yeah. So y'all don't believe in that toxic masculinity is a thing. I do, but what is toxic mm-hmm. is the, be- you know, the mm. behaviors used to bring about. We also don't all to have to agree image. on the same thing. Agreed. I know, but what I'm saying Agreed. is, yeah. for in order to get to that masculine persona that yeah. we are sold, that is prevalent in our culture at this point, yeah. there are certain behaviors that are toxic, as you say. Mm. A lack of compassion and a lack of caring is akin to masculinity. Mm. So Why? the behavior that's just the image of soul. I'm not arguing that point. Okay. I'm saying the behaviors to bring you to that mm. can be toxic. I think so. 
So it's it's a it's a very cheap way to, to, of saying it to mm-hmm. say toxic masculinity, mm-hmm. where it's basically the behaviors to achieve well, that masculine image are I, toxic. I would say that do you have certain characters or characteristics of an individual to define that person as a true man, right? Society and said to you are a checklist. But no, not the fuck society, yo. Let me tell you, like that's nah, the nah, world we live in. No. Nah, so just mm. hold on. You can burn it down. Yeah, burn it down, dog. Everything. But what I'm saying is, we do you. <laughs> Jamal, thank you. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. Like nah, everyone always dog, says, like, oh no, but society has no, set this that. out no. that this is who I must be, dog. Nah. I don't care. No, burn it down. Be yeah. you. Like society is shit. What I am saying. Go on, look. Sorry, Bob. We exist in society yeah. at this moment. Everything must be looked at in context. But you can burn so down. So you, you can burn that shit down. Go ahead. But that's what we're doing here. Okay. So let me, but that's let what we're doing. So let me, but so what let I'm saying, uh, until it is yeah. burnt down, yeah. as mm-hmm. it is, there's a checklist <laughs> given to you says, this is what is masculine, this is what is feminine. Until it is burnt down. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. All right. So, so here, so here okay? you have certain, You have certain characteristics that are necessary to be masculine, right? Yes, you can be dominant. Are those in, are those inherent? Do we know that as we're born? Or yeah, because you don't need a book. You don't, no, because you, 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 I was you it's something that society you feel. Empire, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, book. pause. Yeah. I have a Why question, I have a question. Mm-hmm. So do you think that when little boys and little girls are born, mm-hmm. like literally, when, when, when they're born... They op- have no idea of gender roles. And because of that, they act the same? Yes. That's Wrong. why little boys would play with dolls. Wrong. So. Testosterone Wrong. is the only thing that drives them Wrong. one way or the other. Wrong. I, I Wrong. I disagree. So. I disagree. I disagree. I, I disagree simply from experience, right? I've been. Yeah, I, I, in my I, th- I, I, I disagree. In, in my experience, I disagree because oh. I have um, cousins like Jared and thing. When Jared um, was about, I think Jared was two. It was just, I was say three. So his third birthday, right? We were in the living room. I remember I was watching Megas XLR on TV. And the little girls, to you know, friends of parents, and they're all there. They're in the room. They're sitting down. They're playing. They're having fun. Three little boys walk come through the room, mm. right? And one of the little man then pick up a ball and just kind of look over at the chair mm. where like all the stuff is on and just fucking kicked it, mm. and like all and all the shit fell off, and he just ran off. Yeah. That's not society. Yeah, no, That's just a difference there's in learned the behavior. whole. There is learned behavior. There's learned behavior, and there's, and there's a different. Yeah, some things are in it. Like you said, Bob. But women are so what you're women telling me at that age the birth. children are acting completely off of inherent no id. you can't no, I don't they're think they're you act can I don't think it's possible people are conditioned I how do I condition no, from birth just people are conditioned you're from birth you're a sponge when you're young you know but how do, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. how do you birth, condition right? a little boy at like three years old because you don't even know for peace properly yet because when you have a boy you want him to go outside and ramp and you want him to be rough because you want him to be so a man. No, everything that you in some, do, in some countries, everything, yeah. everything that no, you do from you've been born, Bob, is based believe, on is yeah. everything that you do from you've yeah. been born is predicated on society and how you were society taught. You don't, have, you, you don't have Holy, any free will. You keep saying society as if it is a person. So you don't have yep. any free will? You, you, you didn't have any decision in I like of this course, or I don't like that? a child... You have the, what you're doing. What world do you know outside of what your parents give to you? So then, no, I as you're saying, I don't you, think your parents but, but as a child, you didn't. You don't think you have free will. You, you, you don't think that you said well, no. How the fuck we reached at this point? I'm saying that little boys are Be- as parents because you're saying that you, because you're saying, wilder thing. Because you're saying that as since we've, we've been born, yes. we've been quote unquote programmed by society, your parents, whatever, whatever, yes. and you don't think at so you think you're a complete product. It's not or, complete. Or pre-programming. Why are you going to the extreme? So I never went to the extreme. Yes, you did no, because I, I said them have free will, and you said no because everything you do is predicated no, on like you socialization. That. You said that. Okay, so I'm fine, saying fine. that the children's behavior mm-hmm. is <laughs> that is determined by how okay. their parents <laughs> treat them and their parents. No, but you be- can't. Wait. Don't leave it. Go on, go on, it. We, whoever raises you, then whatever you want to. So is that not an extreme? You, that's why people who grow with them granny come out like them granny. I grew with my granny. They're miserable like them grandmother. <laughs> God, that is what is around them. Right. So you don't have a free will. You don't have free will. You're a product Why of do your you environment. Keep going there? Everybody's a product of their environment, Martin. And you don't have a choice to be like, I don't want to do this. I like and this. I do three, that. You are three years old. Determined. Yeah, you said to yourself, I, really I won't follow the status so quo. I'm going to break out on my own. I, I had three year old. I'm pretty miserable. sure I was like, yo, I, that don't make sense to me. Someone now, dude. I highly doubt it. I'm. Nah, come on. That's what? why. That's why you break rules as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. No, it's exactly. because like, that's you break right. rules as a kid to experience things because your parents tell you don't touch the stove and you want to know why. As an you don't act want of to know why. It's just interesting. Like you look at want, it, first, of all, first, first of all, first of all, first of all, as an innate act of rebellion. And what you're saying is that boys are innately more rebellious than girls. No, boys are innately more destructive. No. Yeah, no. In my in my experience, Actually, I, what I'm saying to you, Martin, your yeah. experience—you've never had a child that was born without your kid's two, two weeks old. No, two, no, no, weeks, two weeks he's old. Two weeks old. Two weeks fucking old. Guys, your kid's two listen, weeks old. You've never had a child. If you motherfuckers child, would listen, you'd realize I'm not saying physically have a child no, himself. Yeah, You've never grown a child or yeah, been yeah. around a child yeah. who was not raised by a parent who grew up in society. So what I'm saying is society's overarching beliefs determine to the parents what is male, what is female. When the parents have a child, mm. once they are going along with what has been taught to them, what mm. they know for them whole life mm. up to this point, they're going to impart that on their child. Can I tell you why I disagree with Hold that? on, pause, pause, pause. Let him finish. So I therefore, if it, that's how you have tomboy girls. And there are some girls who their parents want them to be. Mm-hmm. very feminine and they rebel and they go out and be them dress in jeans and them cover themselves and be masculine and go ramp and fight mm-hmm. right and there are boys that don't want to do feminine things so the would not that would that not exactly go against you saying you are raised by parents who impart upon you their yes, values yes but guess what and because you, listen to then me people now. don't follow because those listen values listen to me now when you go as a child under the dominion of your parents to do the thing that they don't want you to do you are corrected and as such you fall in line with everything else no not necessarily as mm-hmm. a child you are telling me martin that that's five six you were out there being a free thinker First in this world all, why didn't you start a revolution because i was five that. exactly but i'm saying a five-year-old don't really think to say i'm not going to do this because i'm my own person no I'm not going to do this because i just want to see why them say i shouldn't i don't think that's but a, nah, I, don't think so. I don't think your expression of mm-hmm. Kids fall in line because that what's that is what was imparted on them allows for a kid to then say, No, that don't make sense, so I'm not going to do it. I don't think you're what, what I guess I, I don't know. I I I, I, I I guess in my small vision what? I'm looking at it. I guess for a child to th- have that thought, Martin, what I'm saying is to be to be in the environment to even create that thought to say, I'm not society determines your morality. So it will determine what Jam- uh, Jamal what, uh, apparently uh, grew up in the jungle by himself. Uh, what? <laughs> he was never influenced by society at any point because every time he hears society, he uh, thinks uh, <laughs> negative. Literally just the overarching uh, everything that happens around At what point does individual agency come into play? When they are allowed to make decisions themselves until your life is not Who determined by your parents. Who allows you to make a decision Jesus yourself? Jesus Christ, you can make any decision you want, but you may not be allowed. I can go outside and kill someone right now. Mm-hmm. It's not allowed. That's what I'm saying. And you talked to me about extremes and I went to killing someone. Because I'm trying to prove to you that things are, there are things that you can do that aren't allowed. A child may want to do anything they want in the world, uh-huh. but they are not allowed. And until they are outside of that structure, you so couldn't do everything you until wanted until you were, your un- parents told, weren't there to stop you. So until you are from under your parents' umbrella, I guess, you have no... Yeah, choice extreme. of freedom yeah, extreme, no yeah. you are guided in a general direction obviously you can do whatever you want Martin, but i'm saying but you just contradict dir- yourself by saying no. you can do whatever you want yes but the what i'm saying the thought process if you are in within the society or within a certain belief system you're only going to think about certain things and again where does individuality come into play bob not everybody goes Is against individual? Not everyone goes against the status quo. What'd you see? The breeze. Where'd that breeze come okay, from? Okay, you scared me the fuck a while ago. I was no, like, no, what'd you see fly by? Why are you finding this so hard to, to just get through your head? Not everybody it yeah. follows the status quo. Or not everybody acts individualistic. I can't I I I can't wrap my mind around a lack of personal like. Look freedom. at some people who celebrity worship. Every decision in their life. The people who want to be who act like these people and buy things because them buy it. Things in their life are predicated at towards being that person. So is them parents grow them so? The society f- put their thinking in that direction. So the man them don't have the option of thought, but yes, w- do we do that, Martin? No, because because we didn't think to do that. So but what obviously makes us different than them? We thought not to do it. 
What is the so point? you can think. I free, never said you free, can't think. Free, free will versus societal predication. I'm not saying you keep going to the extremes. These two you things. You talked to me about murder a while ago. You're just, that's not an extreme. I literally. Murder is not an extreme? No. To prove the point that I use so, it to prove. Uh, 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 oh, so <laughs> you know, some boy for dead. <laughs> like, you know, Fair. It really depends. Fair yeah, point. Like, All right, hold on. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. Right, hold on. To hold prove on, the hold point, on, I just used on, it. It's the clearest on. way. Let's continue this conversation off the pod. Because radical free will versus societal like pressures. We're not, we agree. Let's not bore the people. You think, you are, you think your brain is just... Closed off from all outside influence. No, I don't. You, but no, that's I don't. what you're saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. Coming, we're free thinking. Coming. Everybody can think freely, but not everyone will act on free thought. But you're making it sound like man them don't have the option. No, you're not thought. thinking about it, Martin. All you are hearing is if you are not think, if you're not following free thought, you're not thinking freely. That's what you're hearing. And you're what saying, saying, and you're is saying you man is grown in a cocoon. Man is grown to like corn. So man will like corn for all them life and them don't have the choice to not like corn. No, Martin, I'm saying That's that literally to what think you're about, if them think, what food do I like? Yeah, I don't think and everybody around them like corn. More than likely, them won't choose corn. That's what I'm saying. Mm. People will do one. things just to fit in with mm. the status quo. Mm. Mm. I think you still have you're a hardline individualist. That's what, and your mind block off to this, uh, this whole concept apparently. Of being sheep, yeah. Exactly, but you need to accept it as something that happens. No, but you think everyone is a sheep. No, yeah, you I'm not a sheep. Mm. You're not a sheep. You're a sheep then? No. Why you not? not Who's me. sheep? Not me. Uh, Apple fanboy. Jamal's a sheep. Moving on. Moving on. Actually, I just like it. <laughs> I just a very... I decided. Jamal likes design. I do. We got to admit. Every phone Apple, make, black Apple mirror makes a pretty phone. Brother. Ooh, Black Mirror. Every phone TV show. Black doom, doom, doom. Apple does make a pretty ass phone though. They make very functional phones. The 11 look phone. like it's a fucking disease. You know why I can't hate on the 11? Because the square camera layout of the 11 is somewhat adopted by the pixel like way by in that it still has a square camera layout even though it's two but it ugly yeah so you're talking about pretty phones them ugly no i mean the camera module i guess could With be considered ugly the phone it ugly but if you put it in that green and then it flushes all in it it look real nice it's ugly it look, re- it look nice uh. dog Stop playing with the props. I have nothing better to do. You guys are having a domestic what situation. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that was a philosophical argument. That was about sir. thirty-seven minutes. Like I just wanted to know. There's that. no, but there's no. No, that was about ten. That argument literally has no end because the we'll I just I want we'll to realize that. Yeah. I just, I'm just trying to get him to understand my point. You literally just not, said we'll not, never not, agree, and not then gonna. said you I'm going to try to get, him to get him to understand, understand my point. point. So you can't realize. understand something without agreeing with it. Robert. He makes no, a good like point. No, like seriously. That's what you Robert, just said to me. You hold on, hold on, but we're back both. here. But we're back here. We're back you here. Just I thought said we moved on. I thought we moved on. You can't. Yeah. Jamal, and architecture. Really like. and disagree. Jamal, architecture. Wait, you like socks? I really like, like really nice design socks. Uh, architecture. Know? I want to talk about I don't, architecture. I don't appreciate the expensive socks. The knit socks, like $10 for one pair. Architecture. We you does Ah, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you does <doesn't. I> was <laughs> Yo, wow, Jamal. Jamal, why... Yeah. Why do some buildings make you feel like awe inspired? They don't even have to be like the tallest, highest building. It's just it there's a certain there, there there's there's just why can a building yeah. be emotionally striking? Because it's art. Or it can doesn't have to be, but it can be art. Uh, anything art that's what art does. Art just evokes emotion. So in any way, visually, verbally, you know, you like look at a painting. And I might look at the same painting that you're looking at and be like, okay, that's ugly. And you go, might look at it and it can take you back to a time and all kind of thing. Craftsmanship, same thing. Like, so I might look at a building. I might look at like, a shack like with a, a zinc roof and le- it leaking. And I be, might be like, wow. And it reminds me of like a whole bag of things and it inspires me to do something even bigger. And you might just see a shack. So I guess it's all like perspective. So like in painting where like you use colors, you mm. use like strokes, you mm. use um different techniques to mm. like get different stuff across. Mm. Is that the same with like architecture where like you know you have circular windows mm. versus like angular windows mm. versus points mm. versus I mean you can use like you can the windows. You can use windows to pay respect to the environment that you're around. So if you have like a bag of also. palm trees, you can have a lot of long, slender windows that like 
um, look like the tree. Yeah, I guess, yeah. They like it's like they pay respect to the context Word. around it, and yeah, you know, you can you, uh, you can have fun with it. You can not finish your design because of it. You cannot finish your house because you, they are, are try to make the window look like tree when somebody just want to move in, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you can. I don't. You don't even have to be a building. It can be a statue. Somebody, an architect, can design a statue. An architect can design a road network. Clearly, not in Kingston because I was going to ask. Nobody designs those road networks. I was going to ask. You said architects people. can design the road network. Nobody should, does. Like, does anybody design like? Should. That's water not, runoff in these yo, road listen, networks. That's like it's like right now we 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 are currently building a road that's about to make shit worse. We are, like. Which one of the many all roads of them that we're are building? The Hagley Park, <laughs> um, constant construction spring road, construction spring road, Barbican. Yeah, Appro- the appropriate them, name. The man them don't know about like turning radiuses of vehicles, radii of vehicles. Um, Bob, which one is it? Radii. Well, it's actually okay. radiuses because it's different kinds of radius. Radiuses. Radii that I was speaking yeah. about. Yeah, it's like fishes. Sometimes different many, groups many of fish. different fish, many and different fishes. fishes. There you go. Sheep is multiple? If you have you can, you can multiply sheep. anything. You have different breeds of sheep? Yeah, you mm-hmm. have big sheep. <laughs> <laughs> you have small <laughs> sheep. Baba, black sheep. <laughs> <laughs> you have iPhone sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of sheep over there. Jamal, as you were saying, I'm <laughs> sorry. I, was, I, I, I didn't no, know, for real, I like, didn't know we like, had different kind of sheep. No, but all right. So, for instance, um, you can... Architects... That's what I was saying. Architects can and should just do... Like countless different shit. Like you can architects. Some architects different design types phones. Of architects, like yeah, they have man. different type. Like you have, you have a yeah, civil yeah, engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not necessarily. It's 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 not all right. So you have a civil engineer that studies civil, civil engineering. engineering. Mm-hmm. You you'll have architects that just kind of branch off and delineate into different things. So you have you say you have some architects. So it's like a foot doctor who kind of like hands. What? You know, like when you you go off into specialty, but then as Jamal says, you just kind of branch off. And I guess like. because it's kind of more, it's kind of more, it's it's what is that? It's what you're saying. There's no way to study like civil architecture. There's no way to study. Right, so what for instance, ah, uh, no, well, civil architecture. Uh, there's a guy named um, Waterways. What name? Drainage Santiago system. Calatrava. Backside. We I'm need those. He's an engineer. What's his name? Santiago Calatrava. Calatrava. I believe he's Spanish. He's an engineer, an artist, and an architect. That man, he designs bridges. Um, he designs, uh, gosh, like he does different. Them man, yeah, will literally crush paper and dry it with a napkin. Jam. <sighs> you all right? To Fantastic. Po- to podding to me, mm. the greats would be Rogan, Budden, mm. um, NPR. Mm. You guys have like yeah, man. architectural, like oh my god, his work. Yeah. Why did I never think of that shit? Um, who's your like dude or dude it? Yeah, my favorite architect actually is a guy named Emotep. Um, and he the guy who the killer knocks on the moon? And that me think about why that's true. The man said Emotep and I just went back. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So let's just get a little bit cultured. Just for a moment. A knocks on the moon. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was Jackie Chan. That was Jackie Chan. That was Jackie Chan. That was Jackie Chan. I was just like, you're blending references. You're blending references. (laughs) Jackie. I don't get it. I don't get it. (laughs) Well, no, actually, I. You should not get that reference to shoot young film. So, a lot of. So, one one of my problems with. um, An axe on the moon? With school. Emotep. Is that? No, well, I'll get into that. Emotep. Because one of my problems with school generally. Emotep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have this, we'll have this like colonized mindset basically. That As a former colony, yes. We, no, but it's, it's. Jamal said we have a colonized mindset. No, but it's, a, it's like, it's like a slave line, mentality no. that everybody can. No, you can't, you can't do that. You were inside. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck you did it. You were inside. We was uh, we was outside. Part of yeah, me, but well, definitely came from the motherland. This is not important. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so like it's like we kind of we're always looking up to like a Mies van der Rohe or a Frank Lloyd Wright or a Frank Gehry. Notice these are all European names, right? And it's like it's almost like the hollow people. <laughs> it's like, it's almost like education stops no. at. The hollow people. The Europeans. The whites. Them man, they learn from... Where do you think them get them? With a little phlegm? Bach. 
Yeah, I can't deal with you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Bro, we've been doing this for 90 <laughs> episodes. We've been doing this for 90 yeah, episodes. We bounce between yeah, like... Yeah, we, 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 we live in Australia. Bro, we bounce between <laughs> like an <laughs> actual <laughs> arguments <laughs> to debates to fun oh, real quick. Shit, it's yeah. 90 episodes of this, bro. Oh, We're seasoned. So yeah, you're talking about the um, white. The, well, yeah, but so are there famous Jamaican architects? Yeah, there are. But, dog, I'm talking about Emotep. Right? Okay, speak yeah. about us. Emo. <laughs> Emotep is go the go first. Go uh, show. He's actually the first genius that we have documented in humanity. He was, I think it was three. He's literally the priest from ancient Egypt who him. built the pyramids. He, he okay. designed the first step pyramid. Oh, wait, we weren't fucking around. Is this no, really him? Genuinely oh, the guy who killed Anak the, the movie that that Scorpion <laughs> King. The movie, the movie that you watched was obviously whitewashed, like everything else. No. No, but so, no all right, so way. essentially, that's what I said. He's the first genius. He was a, he was a physicist. He was a, a, what do you call it, like a medical practitioner. Then Monday, he understood the blood flow in the, in the human body before, like, this, this one was, I think it was like 3,000, I don't know. It was like, it would have been like 3,000 years before the common era. So this would have been like 3,000 years. Species with amnesia. Keep, no, keep, keep, keep giving them, them proof to my theory. I promise. Yo, all right. So for instance, we'll have Hippocrates. Mm-hmm. Hippocrates is supposed to be the... The nigga who came up with the Hippocratic Oath that all doctors there take. There you go. Yes, sir. They actually swear to um, Emotep as well, but he, they've changed his name. In the Greek, he's deified. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember his name, though. But essentially, like... Uh, look it up and prove it. Um, <laughs> but... So, all right. So, actually, Hippocrates went to um, Kemet, because it was called Kemet at the time, to go study them Monday works. Hippocrates was died like two thousand years after this man, after this man's lifespan. But we call him the god of um, medicine, the father of medicine, because mm. the I mean? winners write the history books. Yeah, yeah, pretty. So yeah, so that's the first. That's the, that step pyramid. Mm-hmm. Um, Joseph for Joseph. Yeah, he was the Robert. All of the stuff you look at, just like take screenshots and send to me. Yeah, it's it's yeah. freaky Peter, bro. So I can let them pop up. No, he's he's pretty cool guy, man. Like, all right, so so he um step Wait, pyramid. So in Joseph. in in studying architecture, which shouldn't be surprising that's to me, drink. you go right back to like the very beginning. No, beginning, we don't. Beginning. That's my problem. We go back to Europe and go like, oh my god, these oh. white people are so great, and I go right past that because where do you think I'm getting from? Like, them money. This guy developed the column. <coughs> Why is that funny? He invented. The co- Yo, do you understand? Why how, is that funny? Do you understand how cru- this table is on four columns? How do you? That's like inventing the number three. How do you invent? <laughs> how do you do that? Jamal, why'd you go for three? Bad man. Well, I was going to go for two, but like, you know, because you know, the first number was one. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Them, them, my African man, them not invent number two. You see me? That's joke. That's joke. That's joke. But no, for real, he invented. <laughs> Um, Papyrus. Jamal, Jamal, we could we could have a great discussion about the erasure of African history due to European um, conquering. Yeah, we could do all of that if you want to. Because I mean, shoot, why not? Get him, get him ten minutes. Baghdad, get him, get him ten minutes. Baghdad used to be the center of Islamic knowledge in the Middle East when the mm-hmm. Islamic um, Empire was at its peak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Mongolians burnt it down. Yeah, um, the Library at Alexandria. Yeah, mm-hmm. that one also. Held a Yo, repository of all human knowledge up to that point. Yeah. Literally restarted our history. by the whites. Literally Yo, restarted our history for petty. Burned by the Romans. Yeah. For, for petty. Mm-hmm. You're going to burn on a library? That had all knowledge up to this point for Yo, petty. Yo, that's... But a library... Yo, please, burn down the... Was the Romans burn that the down, statue right? instead. The library? For pettiness. Um, Is that what pissed me off the most? It wasn't a military so, move. So, it wasn't an intelligence you know move. You know, much thing, you know how far back we are right now? I'll give you an example, right? I keep, I keep telling you. Species with you know amnesia. It's an a ancient astronomical clock that I found at the bottom of the Mediterranean a mm. couple of years ago. Um, dated back to the, to the 14th century, I think. But has technology beyond, like, modern technology. Of course, Doug. Like the gearing ratios and shit, like the Kufu's way it was set up. pyramid like has been built to the specifications. We still don't know how they build the pyramids. It has been built to the dimensions of pi mm-hmm. in the metric before, system. Before, before the, the metric new, system yeah. was invented. Yeah, we have the golden ratio on right. your body. The money, well. are, the money, are, the money, are, 
Yeah, is my theory that we're a species with amnesia becoming more and more? I don't you see. I, that's how I, was I tell you, I prefer mine to yours, mm. which is a self-limiting species. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mine is like just shit. Yeah, happens. I don't think it's. I don't think it's amnesia mm. because amnesia would imply no, that we, we knew first and then forgot. We get when really you're born on a library. Yeah. Then, we, we get really know. far and then some. Somebody goes, "Whoa!" There's nigga synthesis. Nigga synthesis. Nigga synthesis happens. I don't necessarily. I dis- dis- disagree with the self-limiting thing. You know. I just think that there's enough like right. G- hubris, G- hubris there will always bring about the you humanity. Know, by I agree, the way, I agree, that but is there's false masculinity. There what? is that uh, hubris, this whole, hubris. No, the, the whole bond down library. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, straight, 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 straight. Oh, no, no, no. To be fair, to be fair, Genghis Khan. Let me finish. He was a real finish. man by mm-hmm. rerouting a river through a dark village and wiped them off. The f- uh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's, I don't that's fuck where, with that guy where, so that's much. That's where the rain went to wipe his entire village off. All right. Fun fact: Since Bob dropped that, for those of you who watch Game of Thrones, the reigns of the reigns of Castamere was based yes. upon a movement um, that Genghis Khan did. Free money right? Night King. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where Genghis Khan <laughs> was insulted by the chief of a village. He responded by not only killing the Genghis man. Genghis Khan sent them an emissary and the dog them killed the emissary and sent yeah. back him head. So as a result, uh, Genghis Khan said, ah, this is this pussy. Watch, watch us all. <laughs> he then proceeded to kill every Free man. Nigga Night King. Yeah, straight. It's <laughs> his nigga dog. Bro, he then proceeded to like roll up like the Night King, killed every man, woman, child, yeah. dog, and piece of livestock. Everything. Burned every house down and then rerouted a river through that village to wash it off the map. Cause all this, bitch. Yeah. That's, that's that masculine. is toxic masculinity. That is masculine. Yeah. That is a man's man. No, no, no. That's <laughs> Satan. That's, <laughs> that's Satan. Genghis. <laughs> now, Genghis can have descendants across the entire Asian continent. Yeah, because, he believed, because he believed in the, 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 the rule of first bride. Man, yeah. Where you and your wife get married, but me fuck her first night. Yeah, because I'm the leader of the clan. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of toxic in every... Is it that are you dead, bro? Pick I'm, one. I'm amazed that him reached so far still. But I'm amazed that he was a redhead Chinese man. The Chinese people don't rate redheads. He was a redhead. That's why I'm killing everybody. Mm-hmm. I know. He, he was a redhead Chinese man. That's kind of. Let me tell you something. You know what I don't understand about Earth history? Earth. Civilization has started and restarted. Humanity, so right? Times. Like we came from somewhere. <laughs> 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 yo, yo, so it's like, yo, he was he was a redhead. Yeah, exactly. You know what I don't understand about oh, Earth? Earth. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> no, seriously. Whoa. Yeah, man, for real, me too. The gingers don't have souls. Nah, like, yeah, that's what the I'm Sumerians, mm-hmm. uh-huh. the Sumerian culture. Right. In Mesopotamia, right, right, right. Um, we had the uh, cultures in South America: the Toltecs, Ozte- um, Toltecs, Olmecs, Aztecs, Maya. Yeah. In Central and South America. Saint Jews, huh? <coughs> A different Maya. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 I'm yeah, Egyptian society was the peak of humanity until it fell. Peak Sh- as it was known sure. at the time. Yeah. Uh, the way you say it, it's... We're it's on, like, we keep rising up. I would say fall. that they were the peak of their own society. They weren't necessarily... You see, like, how right now we have globalized the world. Yeah, we them never know about never, nobody else. Yeah, so... So he, they were the peak for them. But yeah, that's what I said. They were mm. peak of their own. Yeah. 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 Not... All right, when, when he says peak of society, I'm not mean like peak in the world. He means peak of what... They yeah. were, they knew at the time, and at the time they yeah. were yeah, when the most listen, scientifically the Egyptians advanced. figured out that if the woman, if a uh, woman peed on certain grains, different grains yeah, would sprout at yeah. different times. If it was a yeah. boy or a girl, they could tell, yeah, yeah. They could, the man, them, that's what I'm saying. Yo, the man, they master brother. Imagine doing that did without guys, like, did, did you, you have light at night time when the sun goes down? Say, you have to stop. No, hold on, I was about to say, right? You, doing right you don't have lights at night time when the sun goes down, you stop. Yeah. Did you know that all three of the great pyramids are topped by quartz? Yeah, and were. At, were. And one of the meaning. And they were coated in marble. Yeah, mm. and one of the meaning mm. of Pharaoh. I don't know if it was marble. What is, a is, stone. is, is our reflective stone? Is our reflective stone. No, it, it couldn't, it couldn't have been limestone because it would it would it would have run out too quick because of the heat. Dissolution. Um, but anyway, uh, one of the meaning of Pharaoh was he was able to turn night into day. They was just like what they would say because if the moon was full, 
nice clear sky refracted through that quartz off back up to the sky mm. and illuminated the place double fold mm. and that that was the work of the pharaoh because he could turn night into day so he was the light bringer so he literally could extend your day because he would double the light you get so your, your dark nights were illuminated by your pharaoh man them figured that out back in the disab g Dog, we still don't know how they build the pyramids to Genuine. that degree no, but of what, accuracy. What really, what really gets to me is not, enough people don't even know why no. they built the pyramids. The Do you know why? I, I don't know why. No, no, because all there, I mean, there's thousands of pyramids. So I don't know why they did. Only like Egypt, three are popular. But Egypt doesn't even no, have that, the that, most that's, 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 that's why you always said the great three. Yeah, Sudan, yeah, the yeah. Sudans, South Sudan, I think, yeah. have the most pyramids in the world. Bro, pyramids in, the pyramids in, the pyramids in South America, get me. Well, that's, that's the thing now. So that's. they link up. The pyramids in South America, China. No, I'm telling you, dog. This <laughs> the pyramids in South America, yeah. China, and 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 Kemet have this have the same. Um, what would you call it? No, like um, coordinates, construction style. Well, actually, no, because up, humans. If you look up ley lines, they have like they, it's you know what ley lines. Are? Yeah, yeah, I know. Ley lines. Ray ray lines. How do you do that? Species with amnesia is my theory. Fam, dog, the money, and, and we are trying to discuss like. Yeah, dog. PNP. I had a, I had what? a, I had a thought. Man is, day. man is building on ley lines dog, with the, the, with, the, with, the, with like the hinge of the skies and the stars above them. Really important shit. I, I, had a build, I had a thought the other day that genuinely, like throughout history, everything, every modern development, just takes us further away from nature, and nature really has the key to everything when you think about it. Because back in a prehistoric, like pre-scientific, we're not got done in a in a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I won't be nice to no, you. No, do you think? No, I'm, man, go on. I'm, I'm good, actually. I re really like magic. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, in <a laughs> prehistoric times, though, we figured out mm. how to do all these things in conjunction that. with nature. All right, look at it this way. Yep. We used to, this eight hour sleeping thing is a construction of modern society. Yeah. We not we used to sleep at sundown mm -hmm. um, for four hours until moonrise, mm -hmm. and then you wake up while the moon is at its peak. You have sex. You do. You eat your food. Gen no, seriously, it's for mating, mating and eating, and any little thing we do for like two, three hours while the moon is at its peak, and then you go back to sleep for four more hours and you get back at sunrise. Mm -hmm. That's the natural um, sleep cycle of humans. Mm -hmm. and yeah, because obviously it would follow Earth. Right, mm -hmm. we've changed that just by what we do oh. now. Man used to figure out, as I said, the pyramids. Literally, a man on all around the world figured out that the high, the easiest way to stack these rocks as high as possible is to put them in a pyramid. Um, it is structurally so, sound. So the simplest structure you could build mm. to get these rocks as high as possible. So the more the, 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 the more the more we progresses, the more we fell away from nature. Yeah, but I kind of had saying, that thought. Yeah, all right. It felt hippy dippy. All to me medicine though. that we have have generally have come from natural backgrounds that we've just we I know synthesize them. I disagree with your point there now. With what medicine? Medicine. Most of it come from the the plant and animal world, and we synthesize. No dog it. in this fight, Jamal. No. no, I'm saying no. You're it depend it de it depend it depends on where you where you because we, our Western medicine is like it. I don't believe in the Eastern Tai Chi energy flow. I don't really. And that's why he's sick. You won't go in going, 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 If that's what it is, bro, fair. <laughs> but man, how you I don't be, subscribe to how the How you going to be sick and, and then talk about to people who are well? Yo, I don't believe. I think you're wrong. You're okay? There. Huh? You're well? No. <laughs> that's what I said. Until I know better, I go and continue with what I believe, bro. There you go. So, then, so, why, so why you just. I said I don't believe in it. You said you don't subscribe to it. Yes, because I don't believe in it. If I don't believe, I'm not going to subscribe. Check, out, check out this YouTube page. Brother, let me tell you something. Tell me something. Chinese medicine, yeah. they believe you eat the part of the animal that corresponds to your sickness. China is a very large. Wait, country. wait, no. If you would not stand up, you eat penis. <laughs> you're not so good, you eat eye. You're not here, you eat ears. That is one part of China. That doesn't <laughs> necessarily. That is a part of traditional <laughs> Chinese medicine. That is one part of China. And that China. is a part. The views of this part of China are not necessarily. The views of the rest of it. But it is a thing that exists. Don't try to erase it. I didn't, I'm not trying to erase it, Bob. But it's like... A part of traditional tra Chinese Bob, medicine Bob, is Bob. to eat the part of the animal. Yes, yes, that yes. I don't subscribe and to that. A part of our medicine is mm -hmm. to take a painkiller. You, yeah. you know what pain is for? 
for to warn you your about something. Your brain sends yeah. pain signals to yeah. your hand for making you know say, yo, something wrong with your hand still. Yeah. And you are gonna tell me, say a doctor, go and give me a painkiller. Mm-hmm. So that you can push through. So they say, yo, dog. Because and then, it and is the man that you keep working. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I never, I, I, yo, I our word doctors not cure shit, you know. Them say, no. them say, yo, just run with it. I mean, no, we have industry that no, needs to come back. Western, Western medicines prevent it. So then how you go? Uh, whatever, it's, right. it's Western medicine's reactive at best. Reactive? It's just at like a... Best. Yeah, you have you you have you 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 have, you have, you have yeah, an infection. Yeah. We'll treat the infection. We're not going to treat the source. We're, we're not going to treat. We're not going to treat the source, but we're going to stop the infection. Like and the source won't be treated because you have to come back. You have have you're, in, you're in a canoe, right? There's two on There's water in the boat, and you are going to tell me, yo, pop your know. hand and throw the water in the boat. Clearly, I'm going to be there's real. I'm going to be real honest with both. I'm going to be real honest. I don't see I'm going to be real honest with both of you right here. Okay. I didn't say that that was necessary. Guys, I'm just saying acupuncture. Guys, I don't get that. I just sure. want. I just want listeners to know where my dog in this argument is. Mm. When nice. when my head hurts, I take a Panadol. That's where my dog. Li- that's that's where my dog is. Yeah. Cool. Man, I'm going. Listen, it may not be the best thing. <laughs> And we can argue about how... We don't have to argue about no, it. Uh, we can Jesus. have a conversation. H Christ. <laughs> the H stands for Hector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that me and Jamal piss Mama off so much sometimes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro, we can be civil. <laughs> that's that toxic masculinity that you keep coming back to. Right? Real men don't argue. You know when you're leaving, you're going to buck it off. Fuck up <laughs> yeah. on the side, right? It's like, I'm going ten to I can't buck one. All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what I was saying. So I know you don't. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> you don't. It's okay. We're talking about medicine, Eastern, okay, Western, so Panama. Yeah, listen, My all definition. I know yeah, yeah. is Western medicine. I'm going to stick with that. We don't know Eastern medicine. We never see it work yet in my life. Mm-hmm. I believe there must be a way to blend the two of them. If mm-hmm. there is, great. Mm-hmm. However, for right now, in mm-hmm. my tiny little bubble that I live in, on this island surrounded by water, sounds so stressed. That's, that's how island works. All I know is mm-hmm. the panada. <laughs> right? And I have my mother, I when my mother gets a headache, marketing. she ties something tight around her head and go lay down. I don't have time for that shit. Give me a panada. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking panada. Country people tell if you stop with white rum and you move on. Give me the fucking one of them. Sap your mole. Yeah. Sap your top with the white rum. Oh my word. So, no. brother. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's all it is. I believe in the panadol. It will cure me. Guys, guys, guys. Man, believe in the panadol. Sap your weed while fighting these all. Sap your mole with the white rum shit. One time, Miss Inez, big up Inez, you retired, miss you. Um, She was, she didn't feel sick, but she said she was going home, right? So she did exactly that, right? Supper mole, tie head, she good. Mm-hmm. But like because she supper mole, which means to dab your head in white rum. Stinker rum! Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're driving down the hill, reach mm-hmm. price right, get pulled over by police. Why the girl smell a rum? Hold on, 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 So I literally go to him and say, sir, <laughs> I have not drank any alcohol, but like, my, 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 my grandma over there and Ines just lean over. Oh, I'm sick. I'm a sap, my mole. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. the policeman went, Oh, Carry ah, on, ah, go on. Yeah. Yeah. And that is medicine to Ines. Ines what? not take pill or nothing. No, but Ga- Ines now garlic, meditate. Garlic, and she got onion, a line and sap her mole. And them something there. Believe kill and believe cure. Anything well. you believe will, will either fix you or hurt you. Yeah. So like, um, what? Except the, homeopathic medicine. Don't. Please. When you have cancer, Christ. don't, 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 don't do that. Just take the chemo and done. Yeah, homeopathic remedies is literally just the power of your mind over your body. Because them take one dose of Panadol, split it into 50, and give you the pills at 150 at strength. And say, hey man, this will help you. That's so what, what, do you that got, what do you got to say to that, Jamal? Well, first of all, I'm not a doctor. That's, that's the first thing. So what? Um, we mean so uh, well. Second you can't have an opinion on medical matters. I just I gave you my opinion, and you just went down the road up to Jericho, around the corner. If you reach it down, so you your get opinion is. Fire. Tell me, you don't believe in this. You more go go by the show. Just love go around. It's and your around. favorite show. Jack. <laughs> yo, big oh, Martin, 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 yo, Martin, yo, Martin, no Martin. Huh? Who the fuck is talking? Who, Jamal? Look who the fuck is talking about that circular conversation. But man, well, I've, I known, I've known Jamal for decades. I still don't know Jamal. As um, manipulators of space. Mm-hmm. We create... Um, Thanks for listening to the bomb cast, guys. 
It's been a good <laughs> design space. No, we're going a little over time. This is a circle. Yeah. We're going yeah, a little you over can time. Quite literally, design a network of communities. You can you can design a network of so what an is entire your city. What is your plan focus? My plan focus. I read a show. Yeah, are you like a building guy, a civilization yeah, like, no, guy, a, 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 a civil guy? Do you, you want to make like, dope ass houses? You want to be like yeah, falling waters? You gonna make me that Tony personally, Stark house I want? Personally, <laughs> I want to do, and this is this is going to sound cliche, I guess, but that's fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, I just want to do anything that's impactful. So that's it can. Not cliche, well, all right, it's like. I mean, it is, you but when, but when Jamal said it is, is, is dope. You want, you want to build something with meaning. Yeah, but and it, it doesn't have to be meaning. Like, all right, so it can be... I would have do something like, I would have redesigned the National Stadium. Or I would have designed the new National Stadium. Or I would have designed the third city. Or something with legacy. Something, or but it doesn't one. have to be... <laughs> yes, Gaza, Gaza for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hold on, no? But it doesn't even have to be as monumental as like something that impacts an entire group of people. It can be something that it could be your house. Like that I think that's very impactful because within our circle, Martin has a new house. If I could uh, like working on it. How do you feel go. about brutalist architecture? About what? Um, hold on, hold on, on hold on. What's, what is what is that? Um, Soviet box box cutter <laughs> oh. architecture. You fit mold. Architecture. Yes. Okay. Cool. So based on what you just said, how Lego. do you feel about Lego um, man architecture? There is no there is no one category of anything that I hate or love. So I can tell you that there are some types of brutalist architecture downtown Kingston that I really. You know, like. I thought he'd say Portmore. Downtown built with the help Listen. of the Soviets. <coughs> Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> comrade. No, <laughs> comrade. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. But like, so yeah, there are, there are, it's just, I feel like I, I have to look at everything as individual and then see if I like that or not and see if there are things that I will like about anything and not like about something else. What, mm. Jamal, 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 in 2019, are you saying that you have mm. nuanced thought? Yes. No. You exist on a spectrum, not at the ends. You do not I exist to the whims of Twitter. Let me tell you something. I am me, and that is it. <laughs> That's uh, that is. Uh, I'm not really busy about an online regime <laughs> or none of this foolishness. But uh, yeah, so this go. I pissed off self righteous Twitter earlier this week. That's good for them. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So you have to get the blood pump, you know. Uh, some, some, to somebody needs to wake up, eh? <laughs> All right, Jams, I have a question for you. Um, yeah, I, uh, this could sound very dumb or not dumb. I don't know. I guess no questions are dumb question. Unless it's a dumb person. No, there are dumb questions. <coughs> Whoops. Um, <laughs> what is it? Um, all right. I personally mm. love an open floor plan. Mm. Now, when I, I was talking to my cousin who is in architecture school, and he was saying, like, um, floor plans or how people like like a room laid out or whatever says a lot about them as a person, like a personality type of thing. Is that true or is that or is my nigga just quirky? It can be true. Because I like an like open floor plan because like I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a wee bit claustrophobic. So like I don't like closed spaces. It's not necessarily. Mm. All right. So it's like. It's OK. So for people who don't know, open floor plan is like a, an. Un- true. Sorry. Uninhibited space. So, for instance, you can have a, a an expanse of a room without columns inside of it, or without like. You but, know? but the room is the room has sections. There you go. So yeah. So um, and it's really just functional, you know. So maybe you're claustrophobic. Maybe you like. I'm a wee bit claustrophobic. Maybe you like. Maybe you like function. So for instance, if I had a, a rectangle and there were no columns within it, I could put partitions that are movable. Mm-hmm. in this and create spaces for the bomb cast tonight or the green room over there the, the green room, room over there, over there. so y- it's like it's it's uh, as opposed to rotted me need a new house for go put next <laughs> chat <laughs> y- you get me i said like yeah. you have one box that you can create anything within this thing the kids can be over there you very much just described me there, there you go so it's 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 it's, it's really just functional so it, it you know so I, like, i'm shit at designing things yeah bro me too because i'm I'm purely function, very little form. There's Me too. With that. Me too. Very much. But so. that's it's like, it's like the halfway through transport center. Yeah. Every time I drive past it, it pisses me off. Why? We never need to spend so much money on the steel. Cause we never need that big fucking arch. Cause it don't really. It's more for looks than anything. As about does it look nice? That's it. It plays a structural purpose, yes. But the way it was made. 
architecture, it's for the look of it. Architecture so also. you're utilitarian, I guess that word yes, would be? Yes, very extremely no, so to a fall. Okay, so that building is one example. But architecture ah, yeah, is also, um, what's the word? Like, plays with your mind. Like Psychological. Psychological. It has a psychological impact on you. Mm -hmm. So some things... It's, it's called a moment of pause. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so it just make you stop and look at it. And go bum. So for instance, <laughs> if you have building, 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 you actually get like mentally Numb upset. Oh, like really? legit, you can be walking through a city and it's just building, 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 building and the whole of them ugly, 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 <laughs> ugly, ugly. You, 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 you will actually, landscape, design, architecture actually plays a part on your mind. Is that why you'll have like a green patch in that's like a in exactly like a, where I was mm -hmm. going? Yeah. That's like a, exactly because that's, that's, that's a, con a, a green space jungle, or a square, have a green space. for instance. Like um, like one of those parks in that's like New York that's exactly. Central Park in the middle in, of New York in, City. in a lot of they have like treaties, for instance, a lot, especially in Spanish culture. Um, that's why they do that, yeah. just so people Legit. know. Like no, because also what you need is an expanse to just relate to people. Like you need to meet up somewhere. What are you gonna meet up at the corner of the building, on the sidewalk? I love I love um, Barcelona's <coughs> blocks. Barcelona has that excellent have the, example. Their, of, their building of blocks city. don't yeah. come to hard points. There you go. They come to yeah, a cut off edges. end, so you yeah. get a a square yeah. at every intersection, mm -hmm. which, really? so you can do things. And, it's, and, it's, and it was it's designed for that. For that? Yeah, 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 that's, that's what they mean. sick. And it's, uh, exactly. That's so sick. architect designed, designed oh the city. I just kind of had my own little epiphany. There you go. Architects. Design like everything. what like Jamal would say, mm -hmm. you design the city and you think about don't that How kind of use Let me give you a better example, right? You'll notice that like people That's why I like my podcast. I get to appreciate a lot there of different shits. People who practice yoga, a lot of the time they spend them time in nature. Mm -hmm. Why? Nature has a psychological effect on your mind. Mm -hmm. Oh no, big big facts, big facts, big so facts, big facts. The same thing. A green area, if green I, if space, if grass. If parks I ever feel like crammed up, yeah. nothing like a walk on the hill in a dog when you just going through bush. The window and feel more oh, no, at I have to walk up on the television. Oh no, anytime, anytime, anytime. When anyway. sun hit your skin, you feel better. Uh, that, bro, so that's it. So like if you if you so oh, your table <laughs> We are about big plants. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> 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 so if you look on Block building, block building, block mm -hmm. building, block building, block building, and then you just see this steel thing. It might it actually kind of goes, hmm. mm. and it give you a little bit of calm. I'm not saying that that's the most efficient way to have but done it's, it. But it's just something. But to sometimes, you. sometimes you need something that's out of the ordinary. You can wear, you know, pink okay. shoes the whole day life. Sometimes you need a green shoe. I mean, Bob probably would wear pink shoes the whole day life. Yeah, that's that's Bob's if choice. They were easy to clean. Bob can be <laughs> whoever. Utilitarian to a fault. Wow. And we really went there. Do you know full circle? We really went there. But full. yeah, like it's just you know yeah, everything yeah, of a, everything, yeah. everything of a purpose. Is it's just have a work. Mm -hmm. I don't Do really you right relate now. to the design of cars? Yeah. Cause like, I was talking to my mother the other day, and she was like, "I don't get why men like cars," and I just, and I said to her, and I, I quote, car sex. Car Hold on, no, 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 no." I said, I said to her, and I quote, "But you wouldn't, because the nicest cars resemble a fine woman. Mm -hmm. You." You're you're a straight woman. You wouldn't exactly like relate. So I, I don't know if that's right or false. But for Ooh. me, the curves on a car, sexy dog. Not saying I'm going to do anything to the car, but I get why like man. But if you did, that would be your choice, Martin. No, I'm saying 2019. <laughs> but I get why like men yeah. like cars and like women just see them as you know no, a car. But some people, some women love cars as well. Oh no, some we guys not, don't give a fuck. We're, about we're not talking in the in yeah, we're not talking in the extremes. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, but well, I, I don't know. Cars don't actually remind me of women at all. But I get really? your point. No, and yeah, the, I get your point. The curves, yeah, it, it's sexy, but not like in a so sexual a sexy. Bustier card. A big butt yeah card. <laughs> no, I, 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 I get. I, I said that, you. and you know exactly what model. No, 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 exactly. I, I get. I get you. I get your point, but I don't think. I don't know. It's just there's something. It's like I remember when I was younger, I was talking to my mom about like engines, and she was just like, Jamal, I don't care. care. And I was just like, Yeah, all right. This, you know what this is? You know when you kind of like to talk to me about anthuriums or orchids? <laughs> <laughs> this is that. And then she was like, Huh. Good I point. Enough, fair enough. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, yo. I was just like, like yo. I don't care. No, it's just, just like, yo, just put the plant there. Like, it's it's nice, you know. That's exactly how I feel to this but day. I don't know. I don't know, yo. That's how I feel about the fish in the fish tank upstairs. 
I don't like fish in fish tanks. Brother, I don't like fish. That must be free. <laughs> I don't like fish. <laughs> no, like, yo, you see, like, birds and fish in particular. <laughs> birds can't bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually have a like a a, a a personal like a grudge against birds, me too. I have a it's like it's like a fight with myself. Anytime I see to a kill bird, all birds, me too. Anytime I see a bird in Speed a cage, up when I see pigeons and shit. Want to let it no, it's like I have a fight with myself. <laughs> because I said to myself, okay, you just want to run it over. Imagine you have the open water, right? Like you're a shark. Every time I see a bird, I want a slingshot. Imagine you're a shark. I don't want to be a big fish. Baby shark. Is he, do, 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 do. Oh he is always a big fish. Yeah, let me yeah no, when it, when it comes to birds, I joke, I joke. I'll stop, I'll, I'll stop, <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop being imagine, a imagine, imagine you're a shark that you don't know limits you. Yeah, you live in 4D. You don't know. Endless ocean. You don't know limits. And I'm going to put a wall around you. For people for those of you, For those of you who are not really getting what Jamal means. Um, sea world is shit. Agreed. That's what he said. I saw a video on Twitter that like described what Jamal was saying, but with video. So just just look up f- f- drone footage, like I I dash drone footage, where you're in the position of the drone and they're literally going through 4D space. That must be the life of a bird uh, and like fish can, in the ocean, and then you cage them. So I get you. Clip the fucking wings of the bird. I legit like I've I've considered. Like just busting the cage of enough birds. Like when I go to somebody's house and fry them. No, <clears throat> but I realize that even if you clip them, if even if you open the cage, like nothing. They're gonna have to clip. walk. Mm. So it just it's just like it's just like it's just sad, dog. It's yeah, the only suck. thing I swear to you, the only thing I'd have put in. in what if in the a, bird was a, born in captivity? And why that's not why is it born in captivity? In the because its parents were taken from the wild. We're moving on from the parents to the offspring. If the bird is born in captivity and has never known freedom, do you still feel that pity? You have to Can you feel it, it so it tastes good? You have to integrate it. That's not my response. Why we keep? Like, why? Why the fuck we have to keep everything? Like, why everything have to be ours? Why because we because we're at the top of the food suck. chain. They're not. They're, first of all, a chain is a link. There's because no top or because bottom. Because people to a suck. Chain. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what more you want. People yeah, kind of suck, that, bro. My humans really just annoy me more. What? Yeah, Earth a history. lot. The humans. People. People. Uh, are interesting. I give you an example. Humans are annoying. Yeah, that's true. You see, like how you have your dogs, dog. I love my dogs. Them and they love you, dog. They just get food all the time, run around the place. Them get goats every now and again. <laughs> Shouldn't be eating them. There's what, two them. girls, two guys, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Clapping <laughs> night and day. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> like this is the life. You yeah, see me? Them no. don't have no natural predator. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? Like brother, this is luxury. We are like, their natural predator. Bro, this is luxury. Like that's. I feel like that is how clapping, clapping, <laughs> dog. You see me? <laughs> It's like there's four of them, so it's like I can pick. Yo, legit. I remember watching. I have, I had, I had actually um, a, a, a Labrador beagle, um, and I have a. How a, how a beagle fuck a Labrador? But you're about to listen. To <laughs> yo, you're one of yo. Look here, now, but he he's a lab beagle, so him, <laughs> him kind of small ish, right? And I have um, little lick, little boy, not taller. Did you even first get of First of all, first of all, first of all, he's a Jamaican dog. And nothing no more strokes. than him. Yo, them man, they can't figure out life. You know, anything, any, there is no. <laughs> yo, if we have a jump, we're going to have a jump. Like, that's just it. I just eat. Yeah, so like, I just remember watching. This is, she's, uh, the, the female dog is uh, a Ridgeback Mastiff, right? Re- yeah, Leo, tall, tall dog. Relatively big dog. Tall he, dog. Jet is, he, was a relatively small. No, no, no. Leo, no. Leo, tall and big. He's like, how him do it? That was um, <laughs> like legit. I just happened to look out the window and I just see like all of them, the three of them, three of them was just lying down and Jet just went, like breeze did blow and he just went, hmm, okay. <laughs> Got up, just went over. I think him gear maybe seven strokes. I feel like, and that was it. And my girl, she just take it, and I was just like, Lay down. What? no, that they both. She, him, I don't know him. him say yo, it's like him say yo, B. You see me? And just wake her up and just deal with her. And that was and legit. Maybe sleep. seven strokes later, they both all, all of them just went back chilling, and I was just like, dog, what kind of luxury this? Like what kind? Of why why I have to have a conversation, you know, take you to like Come on, let's see it clear so you want food. to go back. <laughs> like, you yo, said you were raised in the yo, jungle or you really yo, want to go back no, no. to Jamal that kind of Mowgli. agrarian society. <laughs> <Jamal is Mowgli. laughs> yeah. I was like, 
Bad man. You knew true freedom and you were caged by this society. Jamal, Jamal just want the bare necessities. No, but hold on. No. I understand the bare necessities. Him just want to be out in the trees, Sim- yo, manipulating space. Forget about your worries and your problems. No, but hold on. Think about it. Just the there was no, there was no cuddling after. No, recipes. what are we now? Nothing. We it now? was just, <laughs> it was just done. I was just like, yo, and this is my point, you know. I just happened to look out the window. Jam, 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 Brother, jam. I was jam, just like, yo, this jam, is life. Jam, you remember there you was know a the time. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Jam, if you don't feed them, you know. Yes, but I will. Jamal, well, remember, I when, we're, Jamal, remember when we were 17? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Remember when we were 17 and we were going to, I think it was one of the Fright Fest where we, like, we took Trace's car and we were there partying at Timmy's Yard and it was Gordon and him two bridging them and they, yeah, all, they yeah. all got very drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of them looked at us and said, and I quote, mm. Uno ever priest and man are the only animal we have for big for pussy. Yes, I'll never forget that. There's certain things in my life. I just pivotal moments. Yeah, I was just like, and you just wow. go, wow. And actually, That's I a say good point. That's a good never point. Never say a rooster by one hand. And I was like, yo. You know, it's that true. No, but that's what the man, yo, legit, yo, this man is a prophet of our times. And the man say, <laughs> yo, but never see a rooster by one hen. And it was, I was just like, yo, that's profound. Like, why, why, yo, that is profound. That but is no, profound. But, so, anyways, just to go back to my real point, I don't think we should, like, just in, like, you capture. You don't believe in a monogamous society. I don't think we should <laughs> capture <laughs> and encage. <laughs> And encage. Jamal is like, where are you going, though? No set me <laughs> and up. And encage <laughs> animals. So, like, for instance, jellyfish are one of my favorite creatures jellyfish? on this planet. A lot. Brother, and they just float around? Yo. I, I mean, technically, they're immortal, aren't they? Medita- some yo, of them. Some, not of all them of some of them, yeah. Some of them can't. Well, some they're of them biologically are impervious immortal. to death. Yeah, yeah. They're not impervious to death. They revert yeah. upon adult well, yeah. death. Back to but childhood. They and don't, start they don't have eyes. They don't have necessary... From, from what we know of jellyfish... Jellyfish don't make sense to me. They don't necessarily care. They don't have a CNS. Man said they don't exactly No, no, no. Care. Uh, meaning, me, if you put them in a, like a, a large enough cage, a large enough um, tank, mm-hmm. they will just... A vibes. They, bro, they, don't they give, just float. It's like a freaking lava lamp. They don't give a shit. They just... What did you say? What did you say? I don't know. I think it was last pod. They're like lobsters. Lobsters are... Mm-hmm. They don't die. Biologically like, immortal. They're biologically immortal. They get stuck. And then they die. They die from outside. Yeah. Jamal, fuck off and stop being a jellyfish. <laughs> you imagine, imagine doing that for the rest of your life, dog. Just, yeah, don't have no... They're high, clearly. They you have the Portuguese no man of war, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah dolphins, man of war floats yeah, on dolphins, top of the dolphins dolphins with, It has a sail. Dolphins fuck with puffer fish and jellyfish, like, to get stung. Yeah. Because it, it, make, it, it, it makes them stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's... What are you saying, Bob? The Portuguese, Portuguese man of war. So type of that? jellyfish. Like it has a, a sail. Type like a dorsal fish. It floats jellyf- on top of the water. Yeah. It has an <laughs> air pocket and a sail. It floats on top of the water and it's moved along by the wind and the ocean currents. My, them don't have eyes. They know what? This is where them dead. Them just move to like the temperature Like it floats on water. It floats above the water. The it floats on the surface. a part of it. Of the floats on the and it has a sail. And then the sail just like floats. Like dunum. Dunum. Is it? Yeah. But I think they're purple, aren't they? Purple? Yeah. Purple and blue. Yeah, that's crazy. Portuguese man of war. I was sick, dog. I was watching something on... um. Netflix. Nature's just scared dog. No, dog, I was Damn, watching, I was watching something scary. on Netflix the other night. Um, and basically the dog was on a raft with his film crew, mm-hmm. and he was, you know, one of those shows where like, yeah, watch this, look at this, the majesty of nature, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And he took um a rock, and he put salt on the rock, and then threw the rock into the water. Mm-hmm. And some reaction with it, like the the plankton and mm-hmm. the salt and the rock, mm-hmm. the whole cave illuminated. And I remember thinking like. Yo, this is some yes. like avatar That's shit. We have the blue, we have glistening waters here in Jamaica, Trilani. But like Nate, 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 absolutely. We should, we should make a vlog of that. There's a Nature's cave in absolutely the Spanish terrified. Arawak cave paintings. Really? Or Taino cave paintings. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, I didn't. I don't think I knew that. Mm-hmm. No, but I mean, that, my, niggas used to live in the cave. <coughs> like that's niggas used to incredible be a part that. of nature. But mm-hmm. then again, niggas also died at 27. Yeah, I really like that we don't do that anymore. Yeah, there's certain trade-offs <laughs> to life. No, you know that. Like, fine, no, you no, have no. a bag for pussy. It, it okay, really, you whoa, live to I live 80. to 100. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, but you see, that's the thing. Yo, some I of them... I was like, oh, shit, we went all the way You have 80 uh, years some of them to beg live, for it yo, before you had to forget it within 27 or no chance. Enough of them, man, they live full of lives. They're enough for we, dog. So oh, you listen. live a 100 life of terrible... You watch the videos of, like, primitive technology on YouTube? No. You should watch them. Niggas who we like should go back. We to should show. We should show Jab one of those before he leaves. Yeah, go back. You would technology. build it. You would appreciate it. It's it's as it's, it's a one youth, literally. Mm-hmm. It's a one dog, 
and he oh and he bring he builds like pools and yeah, yeah man oh gosh man that man's mm-hmm. sick mm-hmm. backside yeah, yeah man, man but but the zombie yeah, apartment probably good take him a couple and days and working yeah, sun up it, to sun but down. it bad though but the, the pay off pay off the trade off I will pay forever yeah you pay dog. somebody for doing that done that day yeah dog we see the man take two like stick a bamboo and like and wedge it together mm-hmm. with straw and bring a river to a pool and yeah yeah, which part did they study? <laughs> but that's Nature. my point. But that's my point. Like, studied in that school of hard like, knocks. There are son. things like that to learn, and I feel like I don't know if, if school can teach you. Just you just want every, to learn. school can't really teach. I, I do, that. I do, I do. I do. It's, it's it's very. Um, and then you want to manipulate the space to impact the world with your knowledge. That's exactly what it is. Uh, that's who Jamal is. That's that's exactly what it is, really. I couldn't have written that ending any better. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. I couldn't have written that ending that's any right, better. I'm also uh, under. The hunt for knowledge, but my one, my one fear: the more you know, the more you wish you never know. Brother, <laughs> the more you realize you don't know. Thank True. You, thank you guys for listening to this episode of the Bamcast. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, shout out to California Apparel promo code Bam20. Thank you for supporting us. The co-host Bobby B is here. Jam to actually follow through. I thought this was I'm a real fun was pod. Water. I thought this was a real old fun pod. Yeah, um, so. Hopefully more of many. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. As always, episodes, audio drop on Monday. Video drops by Wednesday, generally. Um, thank you, Boomjara Physics, for the intro and outro song. And thank you, Prismatic Verse, for all things visual that you guys are seeing. Uh, We're a part of the Jamaica Podcast Network. Please check out listen to our brother and sister podcast, Let's N- Chat. Earning season and the penny section. Don't uh, know. The next episode of Penny Section has us. N- yep, we're on the next episode we're of Penny Section, episode dropping penny Thursday. Section. So pre that shit. Jam, you want to tell them where to find you or not? Do you want no, to find Jamal you? do exist. He's an enigma yes. wrapped within a conundrum wrapped inside of a mystery. Yeah, mm. Good still. Mm. If there you need me, you'll find me. Nah. Dropping bombs on your moms? Fuck car alarms. Yeah.